Hey guys, it's Grayson with Dream Media Home Theater. We're out here in Murphy, Texas. Um, we're on uh, TV mount installation today. Uh, I'm gonna show you what we're doing. We're gonna be putting the mount right up here on the wall, the TV. We're gonna be relocating a power outlet from down here and moving it up the wall. We already have our studs marked out on the wall prior to the starting the video. One here and one here. Top of the TV is gonna be there and the mount is gonna go here. Let me show you the TV we're using. It's a customer owned, I believe it's a Sharp TV from Best Buy. We've already got our brackets on here. And this is the Tilt 3780 from S Strong, or Wave rather. Cool. Well, me and Sam are gonna get started and we'll update you on how it's going. Now we're getting the center of the wall, 59 inches, the total total of the wall so that's going to be what is that 29 and a half mm -hmm. 29 and a half always get your center very important right. throwing the mount up on the wall make sure to hit at least two studs always this might be a small tv but doesn't matter you're in a stud when it starts ripping your hand off. A little bit more. I'll make sure I'm nice and level. Of course. Do you need a difference? There you go. Thank you. Just hit it right in the middle. It shouldn't move. How's it look? Not my favorite. If it's not there yet, you haven't got there. There we go. There we go. Just a little slight adjustment. Slight adjustment on this one too. We'll get it there. Perfect. There look at that. Wow. Three media difference. Next. Next. We're going to grab our Klein tools, uh, tester, also it tones the line back to the breaker panel. So I'm going to show them how it works. Absolutely. So you take your back end, you're going to plug it into the outlet you wished to make sure is off. You see we get two green lights, that means we're all good to go. Those are yellow. <laughs> but tomato, tomato. <laughs> I'm going to take this now to the breaker panel and uh, show you what it does. Here's the mysterious breaker panel. <laughs> They're labeled, but this test toner helps us much easier. So we're gonna it a lot easy. Hit the Very button. Easy. We get a green light. So you can see the tone changes as soon as we get to one. All right, so I'm gonna mark that one. I'm gonna measure out some others just in case. Sometimes in these homes, they can get a, you know, mixed signals or you have multiple mm -hmm, going mm -hmm, to the same mm -hmm. one. So it looks pretty clear at this point that this is our culprit. I'd say that's it. Yep. So what's, gonna, it, what's it labeled? It's labeled bed R, bed R, up, up. So, upstairs bedroom. <laughs> cool, hit it. This is how you know you're successful. When all the lights are off on the tester and it's completely dark in the room, so you get to work in the dark. Oh well, look, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a hole up top, tap off this power outlet down here, shoot some Romex up the wall, and put in a new outlet. Cool. All right, so Sam's cutting his drywall template. Just a little stamper, gives you a little guideline on where you should cut if you don't know, and that way you don't mess up. Uh, now he's gonna use his drywall saw, cut a hole up here, and then we're gonna fish the line up. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot our Romex up, up the wall here. It's about maybe five feet up. I think we can do it without a fish rod. There's no insulation, so we got a hole top left. Hole in the top left. So you just try to make it super straight like this. So when you shoot it up, it, it doesn't get all wobbled in the wall. Yeah, messed up in the wall. All right, we got the line fish. Just took a minute. 
Uh, so now we're going to connect our hot and neutral and ground down here and up top. Yeah, when I'm watching, I'm not watching the video, I'm watching it in real life. Yeah, even better. This is like live reality. TV. Well, you think we should get our own show? Our own TV show. Okay. You think me and Sam and Zach could do it? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I think we could. You got this. I got the screw gun. All right, then you screw them back in, and we'll show you how to do the top part next. So you grab your blue outer box, plastic box, prevent flames and sparks from occurring. Put it in the wall through your Romex, pop a hole in the back of it. Bing, bang, boom. Now you're done. Screw it in the wall. Grab your old Phillips, handy. Handy, damn. Gives your feedback, you push harder. Never give up. We're warriors at Dream Media. <laughs> I know. Luckily, here at Dream Media, we put our blanket down so we don't cause a mess in your house. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? <laughs> yeah. So you also peel back these. Uh, you're hot and neutral. Another one. Another one, yeah. Like DJ Khaled said. Just, I'd say, about, what, a half inch, huh? I don't know, I can't. As deep as this. As deep as the power outlet. You don't want any of your copper being bare or shown. Make a little loopty with the ground. Ground on first. To it. <laughs> well, you always got to make sure that you put it the same direction that it screws. Otherwise, if you do it the other way, it could unscrew. It unscrews, yeah. Handy tip. All right, and then now you're going to put your uh, black line, black to gold, right? Every time. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. It's a little dang. And then I'm just going to insert it into the back. Just push that all the way down. You don't want any copper exposed. And as you can see, it's now locked in there. Very snug. Same with the uh, other side. So that's well on there. Done. I'm going to screw this down for security. Excellent. Right. Pop that back in there. Make sure your ground is not touching any wires, which is not possible in this situation. <laughs> or even the back of your power outlet itself. Like our, it's like our bit's going kind of bad. Yeah, or is it starting right? to round out. Mm. These Maybe. things happen when you use them, huh? Yeah, over and over. Well, now we'll put our cover back on. Or on for the, for the first time. time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got your... Uh... The Holy Trinity. Hey, that's that. Now we're gonna go downstairs, turn the power back on, and we're gonna throw this TV up on the wall. Whoa. Now we just go back to the one that we just turned off. So you see it's the only one that's turned off at the moment. Simple as that. Well, it looks like we have power returned back to this room. And now that we have power, we wanna double check. Look at that. Two yellow lights right there. Means we did good. Now we're just gonna double check this one, make sure nothing's changed. We're all set. Now we're putting the TV on uh, the TV on the wall. Yeah, it, it is way up from my style. It is way a little bit up. All right, guys, that does conclude our installation, mm -hmm. uh, TV mounting, and also putting a power outlet on the wall. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Keep in mind, if you do live in the Dallas area, we do offer these installation services for you and also the sale of products like the television. We do carry all major manufacturers and that goes for the nationwide as well. We do carry, do free shipping and a low price guarantee. So if you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and uh, 
Thanks for watching. This has been Grace with Dreamy Hope Theater. And Sam. Sorry. <laughs>